Hey, all you not party people. So I have a bonus knot for you because I was on a roll, a literal roll, and I thought that you needed this one as well um, because we've had some questions about it. So this is just going to be a short little tutorial on what I like to call the mushroom knot. So let's take a look and see what I've got on my board in front of me. You may remember this knot from my Kate's favorite redo, right? When I did the 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 redo knot or the redo um, uh, wrap bracelet uh, where I incorporated some techniques from my Kate's favorite. And then I also did um, this knotted section right here. And you'll remember this section from other bracelets, but they didn't have the beaded section. So I want to show you both of these kind of real quickly just to uh, show you both of these so you'll have a reference. So here I have some one millimeter cord and I've connected it to that little <clears throat> circles of midnight bead that we carry and then i've done some macrame here to kind of close it together but you can also tie a knot or whatever and this could be connected to a button or whatever it is whatever you're making right so this little charmer gets connected to my board right here and then all you do is you tie a series of half hitch knots going from the left to the right, left to the right, um, left to right, then right to left, right, reversing the, the direction. And you get this really great little knotted section. So let me start. I'm going to start by knotting with my right hand cord around the left side of this knot strand. Um, let me arrange my camera, though, just so I'm a little tighter for all you all. Sorry about that. There we go. Just so you can really see this knot up close and personal. So here's my left hand <clears throat> strand. And I'm just going to come in with this P or this Q rather uh, shape or like the number four, right? I'm going on top of the cord going up and tightening it down. Now I'm pulling this one down. I'm doing the letter P on this side, going over the top, going through that loop, and then sliding it down, or sliding it up, I guess, is what I want to do. Now this one comes down, <clears throat> and I go, go back and forth, go with my left-hand side, do my loop and up, pull that one down. And now with my right hand cord, make my loop going towards the right, holding the left cord tight and up. Left hand cord, make the loop over the center cord. Now this is the right hand cord now holding it tight going through that loop, <clears throat> tightening it up. That one I just immediately pull right back down. That loop goes to the right, tying with the left hand cord. Oops, except this got twisted, so let me untwist it. <clears throat> there we go. Going to the right. and tying it tight. So you can see what I've got here is they look like little mushrooms. Can you see going back and forth um, from one side to the other? Let me just keep going with this knot and then we'll, we'll add a bead so you can you can see it. <clears throat> but I'm going to hold my I, I know that I start with my right hand cord because the little scallop or loop there is on the right hand side. So I need to make that same scallop with the left 
So I bring that loop around, go through, tighten it. Whoops. Nope. See, that's backwards. Good thing I made the mistake on air so you can see it. When there's that little scallop right there, you want to hold that opposite strand tight. So that's the left. Now I go through with my right. And I come up. And can you see that there? That made that little scallop. So now I pull my right hand one down. My loop goes to the left. And I tighten it up. My left one comes down tight. My right hand comes in. I go to the right and tighten. <clears throat> go to the left and tighten. Go to the right. And the cord is always going, the, the cord that I'm looping always loops over the top. It's hard for you to see there the top of the cord that I'm tying around. So it comes around and ties through. Okay. So now you can see I've got my little, my little mushrooms all lined up there. Now <clears throat> you can see this might have gotten a little twisted, kind of funny right there. So I think it's, I might have switched and made my thread go underneath at that point. So you just want to, you know, and give yourself a little bit of a, of a practice thread to that might help. But <clears throat> once you keep this thread that you're tying around, you want to keep it pretty tight. So see that one comes down and then this one goes up then that one comes down so you want to try and keep it all in the same plane without your main piece twisting <clears throat> and that way that's when you get those nice little mushrooms so try, try not to twist your thread there you go and i think what I have a tendency to do is I'm kind of twisting it so that this thread actually is going underneath my center thread. But you want to make sure that it goes over the top. There we go. So that <clears throat> you have that nice chain of mushrooms. See, I'm doing that again. I'm, I'm, tw I'm pulling that over to the side. I don't want to do that. I want to make sure that I get my loop and go through. There you go. Don't twist. Just make the loop. It's because I'm trying to go so fast for you guys. But make that loop. No twist. And just do a little practice round on your cord here. There we go. See, those are all nice in a row. That's where I got my knots in a twist there. Let me get um, some <clears throat> shadows here. And let's put a little bead on there. So you can see I'm going to add a bead on into my loop slide that bead up and then tie my thread okay it's very similar to <clears throat> this one that i did i did this with there's a strand that runs down the center so i tied um the left hand str strands to the left and the right hand strands to the right down a center running cord and you can see that here this makes it just a little bit different i don't have a center cord but you need a bead that's large enough to go on this cord so pull that right hand cord down make the loop 
and you want to slide that up, but you don't want the bead to, to jump. You want to lock it in in that little, it's where that little mushroom is, that little loop there. So now I switch. <clears throat> I hold the left one tight. I'll get a bead on the right hand side. Make my loop. Tighten it up. It's a little slower going. And I pull the right hand tight, slide my bead up, make my loop, flip my thread through, and tighten that up. Let me do just a couple more and then we'll see what it looks like. Let me get my bead on there, through my loop, and up. The, the skill, more than anything else, is to keep your tension nice and even as you're going here. That's really, that's really what good, you know, nice looking knot tying is all about, is keeping that tension. Let me inch that up just a hair more. So let's take this off. And you can see there's your little chain of knots. Same thing that we've got there except inside that little mushroom loop is a bead instead. Okay, so I'm just gonna tie this right here in an overhand knot so it <clears throat> tightens down and doesn't unravel. But there we have it. There's our mushroom knot just plain and the mushroom knot with beads. Remember, if you don't want yours to go all wonky like I did up here, make sure you're holding that center cord, that cord flat, and as you tie going from the left to the right, switching threads, and don't get a twist in that loop that you're going through, and you'll be just fine. So that's it, you guys. That's the little bonus mushroom knot tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, this and all of our other knot tutorials will be in our um, playlist on YouTube called Knotting for Jewelry Making. I believe that's what it's called. So enjoy it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much.